Greetings, my beautiful people. To my OGs who are my original green squad, welcome back to the channel. Me love you no bad. And if you're new here, big up yourself and thank you for stopping by. I'm Monique. I'm 51 years old and I'm from beautiful Jamaica. I have a deep love for learning about medicinal plants, especially the ones that grow right here in the Caribbean. And I love sharing what I've learned with like-minded people like you. So today we are taking a closer look at a tree that many Jamaicans know well. Some see it as just a living fence post or shade tree. But did you know this humble tree has some powerful medicinal uses too? Let's talk about Lercidia sepium. And trust me, you're going to want to hear how this common tree might be more useful than you think. In this video, we're going to talk about what is Glercidia sepium, some of the ailments it's traditionally used to help treat, how people actually prepare and use parts of this tree, and some important precautions you should keep in mind before trying it yourself. Keep watching to find out more. So Glercidia sepium is the scientific name for a small to medium sized tree that plays an important role in many tropical ecosystems. It has several other common names depending on the region in which it is found. For example, here in Jamaica, it's known by several different names. We call it grow stick, fence stick, quick stick or Aaron's rod. In other parts of the Caribbean and Latin America, it's known as Glercidia, Mexican Lilac, St. Vincent Plum, Tree of Iron, Madre de Caco, Mata Raton, or even Nicaraguan Cocoa Shade, among other common names. Native to Mexico, Central America, Northern South America, and the Caribbean, Glercidia sepium has spread far beyond its place of origin and can now be found across Africa, Asia, and other tropical and subtropical regions around the world. In places like Jamaica, it's a familiar sight, growing wildly and organically along roadsides, in pastures, and in other green spaces. Glercidia sepium can grow up to about 15 meters tall. The leaves are compound, meaning that they are made up of many small leaflets, and they are alternately arranged on the branches. One thing that makes this tree really stands out is its lovely pinkish lavender flowers that grow in clusters. After flowing, it produces flat, narrow pods. These pods start off green but change to brownish yellow upon maturity and contains several seeds. Glercidia sepium is a multi-purpose tree which is often grown for its ornamental value. However, its value extends way beyond its beauty, as it has numerous practical uses. As a nitrogen-fixing plant, it enriches the soil and is often used in agroforestry systems to improve crop yields. The leaves are soaked in water and the nutrient-filled water that is obtained from the latter is used as a liquid fertilizer for other plants. The leaves are high in protein and commonly fed to goats sheep, cattle, and poultry as fodder. The wood is dense and burns well, making it ideal for firewood and charcoal. It's also used for construction, railway sleepers, and furniture. Farmers also plant it for erosion control, especially on slopes and riverbanks because of its strong root system. The flowers are a source of nectar for bees. Crushed leaves are believed to repel ticks, fleas, and mosquitoes. Some farmers make a natural pesticide from its leaves and bark to protect their crops. The leaf extract is used to make an anti-mange dog shampoo. The flowers, flower buds, and young leaves are cooked and eaten in some cultures. It's used for living fences. Parts of the tree are mixed with cooked rice or maize, fermented and used to poison rats, mice, and other rodents. 
It is used to provide shade for plantation crops such as coffee and cocoa trees. The leaves of the plant are sometimes placed into a tight container with bananas to quicken their ripening process. And of course, it's also used in traditional medicine. All in all, Glorcidia sepium is a resilient, fast-growing and multi-purpose tree that thrives in a variety of soil types, withstands drought and supports both agricultural productivity and biodiversity. The following are some of the ailments it is used to treat. Alopecia, hay fever, colds, coughs, asthma, bronchitis, fever, weakness, eruptions, erysipelas, sprains, fractures, dysentery, diarrhea, vomiting, indigestion, headache, muscle pain, prickly heat, rheumatism, ulcers, urticaria, wounds, gangrene, scabies, eczema, dermatitis, bacterial and protozoal infections, skin tumors, itches, boils, bruises, burns, snake bites, eye complaints, sickle cell, gonorrhea, and jaundice. The parts of the plant that are used to make medicine are the leaves, flowers, bark, root, and sap. These parts are either used orally or topically, depending on the ailment being treated. To treat skin infections, a cough, or asthma, tea is made from the leaves and consumed. To treat body aches, fresh leaves are crushed and applied topically. To improve one's vision, an extract is taken from the flowers and applied topically. The bark is used to make a mixture, which is then used to treat bacterial and protozoan infections. Extracts from the leaf and the bark or root decoctions are used topically on the skin to reduce itching and treat scabies and dermatitis. For eczema and other skin conditions, a bath water made from the leaves is used topically on the skin. The juice of the leaves bark and roots is useful for eczema, itches and wounds. To treat wounds, the sap is extracted from the leaves, bark and roots and applied topically. To treat rheumatic pain, sprains and closed fractures, the leaves are mashed and applied topically. The leaves are rubbed on the skin to repel insects. The leaf decoction is useful for urticaria, rashes, burns, and erysipelas. The ground bark is useful for snake bites. Now, as useful as Glorcidia sepium is, it's important to handle it with care. Taken internally, the plant can be toxic if not properly prepared. So it's not recommended to drink or eat anything made with the plant unless you have guidance from a knowledge of a herbalist. Always remember just because something is natural doesn't mean it's safe in any amount. So there you have it. A closer look at Glorcidia sepium or quick stick, a tree that many people overlook but some of our ancestors knew how to put it to good use. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who loves learning about bush medicine, and subscribe for more deep dives into the hidden remedies growing all around us. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss our next upload. Drop a comment below if you've ever used Glorcidia sepium, and let me know in the comments which medicinal plant you'd like me to cover next. Thanks for watching and until next time, walk good and stay connected to nature.